MFA Updates. Hello, good morning. Welcome to MFA Update. This is a weekly program where we talk about Thailand's foreign affairs and activities. And I'm Grace n i s h a k a p u m i For this week's edition, we invited Kun c h e t a p a n m a k s a m p a n Director General of the Department of American and South Pacific Affairs, to talk about the 190th anniversary of Thailand and USA diplomatic relations. The foreign affairs that matter. Special guests from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. This is the MFA updates. Hello, welcome, Kun c h e t a p a n to. The program is very nice to talk to you today. Hello, k u n i c h a k a It's a pleasure to be here with you and, and the audience too. All right. So um, the topic of our discussion today is about diplomatic relations between Thailand and the United States. So I would like you to start by telling us about the 190th anniversary of Thai and the U.S. diplomatic relations. And also, how important it is to the Thai and U.S. bilateral relations. Thank you for the question. Actually, it is very important to Thailand and U.S. Thailand and, and the United States started bilateral relations actually 205 years ago. Mm-hmm. We have formalized diplomatic relations in 1833 with the signing of the Treaty of Amity and Commerce, mm. which made Thailand the first Asian nation to have a formal diplomatic agreement with the United States. So for the past 190 years, Thailand and the United States have been great and good friends, long a l l i a n c e and friendly partners. So in order to celebrate the 190th anniversary of diplomatic relations between the two countries, we see it as an opportunity for us to revisit our past achievements, multifaceted areas of cooperation, mm-hmm. close friendship, and strong partnership between the two countries, and we also look forward to. Strive to strengthen our relations and enhance more cooperation when we move towards the 200 anniversary of Thai and U.S. diplomatic relations in 2033. Mm. Furthermore, we also see the opportunity to promote people-to-people relations, especially among the new generations, in order to raise awareness on the potential benefits arising from Thai and U.S. relations. We believe that a strong connection at the people level is also a solid foundation. An integral component contributing to sustainable and constructive partnership between the two countries. Mm-hmm. And can you tell us what are the key activities to celebrate this special occasion? The Thai and U.S. side, we plan to celebrate this auspicious occasion all year round. So mm-hmm. we agree to conduct activities to celebrate the occasion under the slogan "Weaving the Fabric of the Thai-U.S. Partnership" or in Thai. สารสัมพันธ์สายใยไทยสหรัฐ190ปี The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Thailand, uh, in cooperation with the U.S. Embassy in Bangkok, also held a local contest for this auspicious event, which mm-hmm. was launched for official use since uh, February this year. Mm-hmm. There are many activities to commemorate this special occasion. For example, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs plan to organize a reception to celebrate this event, uh, maybe in mid. Mid-year this year, mm. and every month the U.S. Embassy in Bangkok plans to organize a thematic promotional activity to highlight Thailand and U.S. cooperation, vast and deep co- uh, cooperation such as people-to-people ties, environment cooperation, health, security, education, agriculture, including trade and business cooperation. Mm. Furthermore, there are some activities such as exhibitions. That will be organized by U.S. Embassy in Bangkok. For example, a tale of two rivers, mm-hmm. which is an art exhibition about Thai, Thailand, and U.S. shared culture of rivers, the Mekong and the Mississippi. Mm-hmm. The Rivers Live Exhibit exhibition, which is the last episode of the series, is organized at the Icon s a y a n from the 1st to 26th of March this year. Mm-hmm. And also, there will be a weaving the exhibition on weaving the cosmos. Which is an art exhibition displaying Kun Amanda p u n p o p a k i a art work that will be organized in November this year as well. Mm-hmm. And in the U.S., the Thai Embassy in Washington D.C. will organize a Thai cultural festival in July, and also a reception to commemorate the occasion. 
which expect to have about 35,000 uh, participants in the festival. Mm -hmm. So these are some examples of the cooperation that we plan to do this year to commemorate the, this special event. There are some very interesting. And lastly, I would like you to tell us about the current bilateral relations with the United States. Well, I'm pleased to, to say that there are positive dynamism in bilateral relations in all aspects. For example, there were there have been frequent exchange of high-level visits, which was highlighted by the visit of Vice President Kamala Harris to mm -hmm. Thailand last November during the APEC summit. Mm -hmm. And also, one of the most important cooperation between us uh, happened last year was the signing of the communique on strategic alliance and partnership uh, in July. And this is the second uh, communique that we have with the U.S. Uh, after the the first communique signed by uh, Foreign Minister Tanak and Secretary Russ in 1962. This communique provides us a guideline to enhance our partnership to another level as we pursue our future co uh, cooperation. And also, apart from that, the communique focuses on our chair priorities, for example, in climate action, in BCG economy or biocircular green economy, green energy, supply chain resilience, including trade and investment, and also on the strategic and defense dialogue, which is also scheduled to held in Thailand this year. Mm -hmm. So we're also very really glad to that the U.S. has pledged to continue carrying on the Bangkok goals on BCG during the U.S. APEC host year this year as well. Mm. Apart from that, we also have very good co uh, cooperation with the U.S. when it comes to anti-trafficking in person. This cooperation on this matter between Thai and U.S. agencies have been very active mm. as combating human trafficking is a Thai uh, government national agenda for the betterment of the Thai society. So the Thai government is committed to eliminating all forms of trafficking in person through the whole of government, the whole of society effort. Mm -hmm. And we believe that Thailand alone cannot achieve this goal. So we have to work together with our alliance and partner, including the U.S. as well. Yeah. So you can see that there, the overall relations uh, between Thailand and USA mm -hmm. is very active and dynamic, mm -hmm. and we look forward to enhance that close cooperation between the two countries. And we believe that it will benefit not only the two countries, but we will, it will also benefit the whole region and, and the world also. All right. So um, thank you so much, Kun Chetapan. It's a very informative discussion to get updated about the diplomatic relations between Thailand and the United States. And it's really good to hear. So thank you so much. You're most welcome. Thank you. Director General of the Department of American and South Pacific Affairs on the 190th anniversary of Thailand and USA diplomatic relations. With that, we conclude the program for this week. If you want to listen to other episodes of the MFA Update, you can go to the YouTube channel MFA Thailand or you can check out our Facebook page FM88 Radio Thailand English Thank you so much for listening, and I will see you next time. I am Nishaka Pumi. สวัสดีค่ะ. MFA updates.